Hey, how you doing? Got another great story for you here on this beautiful story time on this wonderful Monday. And I know it's February, but I actually last week I heard oh, there was a thunderstorm that came rolling by a week or so back. And I remember thinking that uh, usually that's a sign of warmer weather, of course, and spring is coming up soon, we are hoping. And I wanted to share this book with you because it's a story about a brave dog. And this book is called Boom. And it's Big, Big Thunder and One Small Dog. See this little dog there? And this is by Mary Lynn Ray and pictures by Stephen Salerno. And this book is brought to you by Disney. Oh, look at that. Boom. Boom. Got the dog here, little dog, looking out the window. Let's see what this book's about. Got the big old book here. Although Rosie, dog's name Rosie. Here's Rosie. Although Rosie was a small dog, she was usually very brave. Just like the boy she knew best. There's the boy right there on the bicycle. And there's Rosie. Have you ever seen a dog in the street chasing a bicycle or riding along, running the roads and stuff? Well, that's what Rosie was doing here, having a good time. She wasn't afraid of tigers, though she didn't have to prove this because no tigers lived nearby. This looks like a little stuffed animal, a little stuffed animal tiger. Got a baseball bat, a skateboard, and all kinds of stuff. And it also says she wasn't afraid of orange cats or orangutans. At least not their pictures and books. So we got the orange kitty here, orange cat. And there's a bull. Don't say anything about a bull, but there's a bull here. And then right here is an orangutan. An orangutan is, it's bigger than a monkey, but it's smaller than a gorilla, if, if that helps. That's what an orangutan is. She wasn't afraid of garbage collectors, policemen or policewomen. Firemen or firewomen, postmen or postwomen, or even the siren on the fire truck. Have you ever heard a siren on the fire truck? <coughs> Sounds something like that. Well, here's all these people. There's Rosie, you know. Got the postal people and the fire people and the police people. Got this... Little girl, and they're all looking up at this kitty cat up here. Got the big fire truck. And there's the garbage man right there, the garbage. Got all that going on. Rosie ain't afraid. She's brave. Also, a car wash or waves or taking a bath, she wasn't afraid of those. She just jumped right in there. Have you ever seen animals that didn't like taking a bath? Oh, my goodness. I've seen animals jump out of tubs and jump out of rivers and creeks and, and all kinds of water. And they'll shake themselves. And water just go flying all over the place. Have you ever seen that? I tell you, that can get really wet in a real hurry. She had no fear of shadows of night. Feather duster? No. Vacuum cleaner? No, not afraid of that. She wasn't afraid of those. Got the vacuum cleaner. She slept tight. She might do a little doggy snore. Have you ever heard a dog snore? It's like, I know dogs snore like that. Cute little dog. Just a little tiny snore. But there was something Rosie was afraid of. She was afraid of thunder. You see her looking out the window, this big old dark cloud. Ooh. She's like, I don't know about that thunder. Boom! When a storm began to rumble, this small dog was usually a brave dog, but wasn't brave anymore because whoo, she didn't like that thunder. Boom, look at her, she ticks off. She's running all over the place. Running all over the place. The boy offered a biscuit, but Rosie wouldn't eat it. There was no comfort in a biscuit. The boy tried singing songs. But there was no comfort in a song. The boy told her the thunder was watermelons rolling off a watermelon truck. He also told her 
that it was a big block fort falling from out of the sky. He was telling her everything. He's like, big old watermelons falling and big old blocks falling out of the sky. And he tried to sing to her. And he tried to feed her. Oh, here's a little biscuit, buddy. And, and she wasn't having it. She wasn't having it. She wasn't having it at all. He told her it was hot clouds popping like popcorn. <gasps> Have you ever seen popcorn? Have you ever looked through a microwave and seen popcorn? And you hear it go. <laughs> and, and the bag kind of grows. Have you ever seen that? Yeah. Well, that's what he's talking about here. You know, it's like he's trying to tell the dog it is like big hot clouds in the sky. Making popcorn sounds. Oh, wow. But the little dog knew it was the big, big sky growling big, big growls. She kept under the table. Except it wasn't safe there. The sky could still see her. She hid behind the sofa, under a rug, inside a sock. None of those. Ooh, none of those kept her safe. What she saw when she closed her eyes. What she couldn't see. Boom! Boom! But the sky could see her. She's hiding all over the place. But she knew the sky could still see her. And it really caused her to be scared. It really worried her. The boy may have felt a little frightened too. The thunder was big thunder. He thought about a safe place, and then he knew just where to go. His room, a little square room with his bold blue bed in the center. There he lay against the dog, and the dog lay against him. And they made a circle that they filled exactly where they waited for the thunder to tire. Have you ever curled up in bed? Uh, have you ever curled up in bed with, say, like a teddy bear or a doll? Have you ever curled up, like, oh, like curled up with like Clifford? Have you ever done that, or have you ever uh, curled up with with an adult, maybe your parents, or or maybe an older brother or sister, or maybe a younger brother or sister, maybe your grandparents? There's there's comfort there, and that's that's what the boy is trying to do. The boy is trying to comfort Rosie. And they were going to wait the storm out because they, the boy knew the storm wouldn't last forever. But the storm kept going still, though. It clapped, growled, and cracked. Oh, my gosh. And look at all these houses and the rain falling and all this thunder and lightning. And, oh, my gosh, it's just kind of scary, scary, scary. And there's, there's actually a man here running. I know it's really hard to see. A little tiny. He's running down the sidewalk. He's trying to get away. Really scary stuff. And it clapped, growled, and cracked until the clap, one last demissive clap. It growled one small last growl. And it yawned. And look, it's clearing up. It's clearing up. Looks like that storm's passing by. Oh my goodness. The boy heard the calm. He heard the quiet. So he told the little dog who heard it too. And got a little smile on their face there and they're like, got the blue sky here in the background. Oh, it's good stuff. Good stuff. And Rosie barked at the stillness. A brave dog once again. Here's, yep. Boy, she, well, she's barking up a storm now. Got the blocks and the books and the bat and the orange little tiger doll and the fire truck. And the sun's out. <sighs> Boom. Hope you enjoyed that. Big thunder and one small dog. Rosie's big adventure. And I wonder if Rosie and Clifford get along. I wonder about that. I know. You get along, Rosie? You think so? Yeah, yeah, he sounds all right. But uh, anyway... Got the big adventure there with uh, Rosie the dog. You can get books. You can get this book. You can get books just like it. You can get other books here at the Allegheny County Library. Books like this too. Read it. Don't eat it. Wonderful stories we've shared with you today. Hope you appreciate the stories.
And again, I want to say appreciate you watching, appreciate you taking time and, and, and looking at these stories and looking at these videos. And again, if you have any comments, any questions, you can call us here at the Allegheny County Library, 336-372-5573. And I'd love to hear from you. Or come by at uh, 115 Atwood Street here in Sparta. Come by, pick you up a book, and uh, share your time and share uh, your experiences and pick up wonderful books just like these for you and your family and loved ones to share and to cherish. And again, uh, this is Tim uh, stepping in today for Miss Carolyn. Miss Carolyn will be back um, for story time, and, uh, but we appreciate you sharing the day with us. And until next time, hope you have a great day. Take care.